Hey guys, Drew Rice here of Rice Running, and today I'm going to be reviewing a new trail shoe from New Balance called the New Balance Fresh Foam Hiero Boa. Mm -hmm. This shoe has been provided to me by runrepeat.com. I have a written review on their website, so if you want to check that out, be sure to do that. I'll have that linked in the description box below. As a disclaimer, this review is done on a voluntary basis and I was not paid to do it. This is going to be an unbiased review from my experience having run and hiked in the Hiero for a little over 100 miles. Starting off with the technical aspects of the Hiero Boa, it comes in at 11 and a half ounces and about 323 grams in a men's size 9, which generally speaking is about average for a protective and well-cushioned trail shoe. So I think that is pretty good place for it to be and it has a about an eight millimeter drop from the heel to the toe so we're looking at about 30 or so millimeters in the heel and a little over 20 millimeters in the forefoot so overall it's very standard for anyone that's used to a normal road trainer so the first thing when you look at the hero boy is you notice that it is its appearance it's polarizing like when you see you know this right here, this lack of a lacing system, which is the Boa Fit system instead. And then also this like, this burrito, like three finger burrito wrap style to, you know, to get some lockdown. It just, it definitely, it, it has a look that's very distinctive. And then this upper, you know, this upper booty collar that is very reminiscent of a, you know, a gator normally add on to a trail shoe it definitely looks really different but i am a big fan i love the bright colors on it this is my personal favorite colorway that they had this is the classic blue varsity gold and black colorway and i mean you can't beat this plus when when you're wearing running shoes it has been scientifically proven that the brighter the running shoe the faster you will run and the better you will feel so you know, they did a great job with this, especially considering that most trail running shoes tend to be more on the drab side because, you know, they're made, they're going to get dirty. But come on, you know, dark gray and olive green can't really compete with this. Overall, the durability I've been really impressed with. I mostly run with these in the mountains. So we're talking about like technical trails with a lot of rocks, roots, dirt. Uh, fire roads. I've run in the snow with these and in the sand in the desert. I haven't had any issues with them. No signs of accelerated wear. As you can see on the outsole, there's, you know, it, everything looks pretty, pretty, pretty close to new. I mean, very, very good shoe overall from the durability standpoint. I mean, that outsole is a Vibram Mega Grip outsole. It's the gold standard when it comes to trail running shoes. No real surprise there. As for the BOA system, these little buttons, they're they're plastic so basically you just pop them up and then you turn and you can open this up and that's how you loosen and then to shut it you just press it down and then you can hear that mechanical twist and you know even though it's plastic which i was a little bit concerned about like mm, this might not be something that is going to be as sturdy but honestly haven't had any issues with it and I don't really foresee there being many issues with it. I think that these are going to hold up really well and they seem very durable to me so far. And then the uh, the cords they're using, it's almost like a like a fly wire like Nike uses and those, you know, they're they work very well. They don't seem to have any type of elasticity. They work very well and it's and you feel that it's locked down the entire time you're wearing it. As for comfort and fit, these fit true to size for normal running shoes. Now, it's gonna depend on what you're used to. So as an example, I wear a size nine in pretty much every running shoe. However, in the past with New Balance, I have had to wear eight and a half. So I would size a half size down. However, in these shoes, that was not the case. A nine fit me perfectly. So. If you're used to wearing shoes from Saucony, Adidas, Nike, then it's going to fit true to size. One thing to keep in mind, and the reason that I mentioned that comfort, is that the toe is, you know, pretty thin compared to the midfoot, and that could be an issue. So definitely try these on before purchasing them, because that fit's going to really matter. Especially because this is a booty style upper. Basically, you 
pull this collar that has a little bit of elasticity apart and then you slide your foot down in it and a good fit is going to be imperative with this style of a shoe because otherwise it's going to be a pain getting off and on. So definitely try them on before you order them. One of the really good things about the booty is the collar because the collar it does a really good job of keeping debris out. It acts basically as a built-in gaiter, which is an amazing thing. There's nothing better than having a trail shoe that I don't have to, you know, get dirt and rocks and pebbles and, you know, any of that junk out of. I love that amazing thing, New Balance. Great idea. One thing I did have a concern of was because of that, I thought that it might trap heat a little bit more, but honestly, I've mostly run in about 60, 70, 80 degrees um, weather in these and I haven't had any issues with them being overly hot. I think they breathe pretty well despite having a pretty protective upper. So I think breathability is pretty good. And then for the midsole, the midsole is, I mean, you can see that is a, that's a thick midsole and it's, it's like, you can push in, you can feel it's nice and soft. When you're wearing these, even though it has a, you know, fresh foam is known as New Balance's more maximal midsole, but it's not mushy. It doesn't feel as soft as say like a Hoka or even an Adidas Boost for that matter. It's very soft and cushioned, but at the same time, it feels very sturdy. This doesn't feel like mush. You still have very good underfoot feel with them. And so I think the midsole is very comfortable, especially when you're doing like long runs on fire roads because they just, they just roll. They feel great. And that's aided by having this one piece outsole. You can see there's no junk in the way of that, you know, transition from heel or midfoot to toe. These feel very smooth underfoot, which is amazing when you're just wanting to log those miles on the trail. Now I do have a few gripes with this shoe. One is like I mentioned earlier, this toe cap. So they have this toe protect toe cap and it's very good. It's very good at what it's supposed to do. It keeps your toes safe when you hit like a root or a rock. That's definitely very protective. That being said, it is a little bit hard and you know, you're gonna wanna make sure that the length is right on that shoe because when I initially tried a half size smaller, like I was normally used to with New Balance, I definitely noticed that it irritated my toe. So again, make sure that that's right because of the toe cap. Again, it works really well, just make sure it's sized right. A personal gripe I have that not everyone's going to agree with is the stack height. So while the stack height is great if you're someone that's coming from more cushioned trainers, you're going to be very familiar and like that stack height. Personally, I like a lower stack height shoe when it comes to trail running because I you know, enjoy doing more technical mountain type trails and I feel a little unstable because it's, it's like I'm sitting on stilts almost when I'm cutting corners or going around rocks or roots. And I feel like I'm more likely to roll my ankle in that type of a shoe. That being said, I think that for more well-maintained trails, less technical, similar to like fire roads, these are perfect for that. I do like them for mountain runs, but for me personally, I like a little lower stack height. That being said, I think most people will not have an issue with this. And they'll actually like the, the benefit of having a little bit more cushioning so their feet feel a little more protected. And then my last gripe with it is the price point. This comes in at $160 MSRP, which for me is just a little bit on the steep side. That being said, you can currently find it online for about 25% off at New Balance's site and I'm sure other places. And that gets them at around the $110 price point, which I think is a very fair price for such a well-rounded trail shoe. As for my final thoughts on the shoe, New Balance, great job. This is a amazing all around trail running shoe that is very accessible to runners that are not used to trail running. They have been running in like Brooks Ghost or Adidas Solar Glides or Nike Pegasus. This is going to feel great on their feet. It's gonna be a great shoe for those runners transitioning to the trails. It's also really good for people like me that are more seasoned trail runners because it's very protective. It gives me a little bit more support than what I'm used to with say Saucony Peregrines. And I love that it keeps the debris out. That's an amazing thing for someone who's do who does a lot of trail running. And then I think that the BOA Fit system is amazing. I love that they're doing this. I know that I've seen this in a few other shoes. Like I know Saucony has some trail shoes that do this and I know New Balance did this in like a couple of versions of the 1500s and I'm really for it. I think it provides a really good fit in lockdown. It's super easy and why not? And I definitely think that in the future, this is going to be something that becomes more and more important, especially in like say triathlons. 
having that transition and being able to just not really have to worry about you know tying your shoes and wasting that time and effort which sounds yes very first world problem i'm well aware but try it you you'll you'll agree with me i promise it makes a huge difference especially when you're out on the trail and you know everything is sweaty and grimy and you're covered in salt and you you know the last thing you want to do is try and twiddle something with your fingers trust me the boa fit system is amazing and as far as my use of this pair of shoes i'm going to continue using these shoes for my long trail runs where i'm just logging miles trying to get more training in and whenever i go to run fire roads by the beach this is definitely going to be the pair of shoes that i'm going to go for and pretty much any time i go to run a trail and i don't feel like tying my shoes this is going to be the pair that i go for and with that i would definitely suggest that if you're someone who is transitioning to trail running this is going to be a really great shoe. If you're interested in the Boa Fit system, definitely give these a check out. And if you're someone that's logging a lot of miles on the trail, it's a great shoe to look at. Be sure to look for it. And that concludes the review. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any experience with the Boa Fit system, the Hiero, or anything else you want to tell me, be sure to put that in the comments down below. Definitely enjoy talking to you guys. And for future reviews like this, hiking, outdoors and running content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of stuff planned for the rest of the year that I want to share with you guys. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.